MTV is somehow getting worse. MTV has had a long downward spiral of shite, but the shittiness of MTV I grew up with was MTV Decoded. Essentially all those videos were just some dude complaining about honkies and crackers for about 10 minutes. But at the same time, I also went back to watch good MTV shows I never grew up with, such as Daria and Beavis and Butthead. These shows weren't for everyone, but to me, they were both very relatable and kind of helped form my own humor. And MTV, surprisingly enough, used to be about music. Yeah, it really wasn't about celebrity gossip no one really gave a shit Shit about. They also had these segments called uh, MTV Cribs, and that's how I discovered Gorillas. The whole network just had its own unique feel with it. It was pretty dirty and crass, but that's what we liked about it. I think this is where Ren and Stimpy actually first aired. So it's pretty hard to see what they become. Don't get me wrong, MTV definitely had reality TV shows back in the day, but it made up for it with its unique animated TV shows. But now they're just banking off of reprobates. But I guess that shit wasn't bringing in enough money. Now MTV is trying to bank off loud obnoxious twats, otherwise known as mainstream YouTube. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm a lot more cranky than usual. For whatever reason, I had a dream about about iDubbbz' girlfriend's vagina flaps flying like Dumbo ears and that just kept me up all night laughing. I legit couldn't stop thinking about it. So if I seem bitchier than usual, that's probably why. Where are you going? Let's have a little talk. Oh, and also one time I pooped on the school roof. Can this video count as my shit talking towards Liza Koshy? So I can experience less pain. I gotta say, my brain cell count is already depleted. I can already tell what kind of humor these idiots are going for. Whoa, she's telling a funny story about how she took a fat shit on a rooftop. Random dancing. These kids are so goofy. You better not put nothing crazy on the table. This is a condom. Such a blessing, isn't it? I like to think frozen yogurt is a date. Very bold to assume. I like to think frozen yogurt is a date, always. Uh, hold on. Is that supposed to be relatable? Knowing MTV Decoded, I'm gonna have to assume that piece of animation is from a segment where it talks about how men need to do better and shouldn't lick women's faces. Yeah, because clearly this is an issue all women face today. So how was it? How was I? <laughs> You know, just flashing a bunch of random shit on the screen doesn't take away the fact that none of these people in the video are funny. While we're talking about the editing, besides the seizure-inducing text flashing on the screen, are we really at a point in time where our attention spans are so goddamn low we have to just cut every 0.8 seconds? The clips are just people dancing, making funny faces, and saying a bunch of random shit. Just because you're just throwing a bunch of colorful, flashy noises at us doesn't make it entertaining. In fact, it just makes you come off as obnoxious. Leave them alone, they're just having a good time. I don't care. They're super annoying and I'm really bitter. You can definitely tell it's a date if their armpits are sweating, if they have pit stains. Ah uh, yes, the relatable parts of MTV. First dates? <laughs> We've all been there. Here audience, have some have some generic bland stories that have no point or are obviously fibbed. They're out there sending 30 emojis, a hey with 10 Y's at the end of it. This type of comedy can work when done right. There's a scene from The Office that's pretty similar to what MTV is trying to produce here. The characters exaggerate on whether this text talk is intimate or not. So, why does this scene work and not the MTV bullshit? Well, for one, there are actual jokes being produced here. It's not just, hey look, I'm so relatable. Look how many fucking whys are in my text and look at all these emojis. Just being relatable isn't funny. There's gotta be some sort of humor behind it. And secondly, the facial expressions are actually funny because the reactions look normal. They're not trying to look like a cartoon character or anything. It's not a facial expression that says, hey look everyone, I want attention. Look at how humorous and expressive I am, haha. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. I guess the first date is like, opening up a carton of milk where the expiration date is rubbed off so you don't know when it expires. What? Maybe I'm just being stupid but I don't understand this joke. For all of you who understand the joke, can you uh, post the explanation down in the comment section? Maybe this will be the, uh, the first joke that'll make me laugh, but for some strange reason I kind of fucking doubt it. <laughs> During school one time. Surviving cafeteria drama? What the hell is this? This sounds like the next issue for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, I'm sure people like Tessa Brooks were the ones who were getting bullied and not fucking with other people. This kid wanted my drama juice, and I was like, no, it's my drama juice. What a great story to tell your grandchildren. Yeah, they should really make a movie out of that concept. This kid wanted my Jamba Juice, and I was like, no, it's my Jamba Juice. Don't 
no one is ever gonna be like, I have a top of the world every single day of their life. Like there has to be lows to have highs. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wow, I, I should really start watching this this MTV. I, I think they got some great advice for people like me. I'd go to the bathroom and I would just sit in there and I would just cry. But it's not even like I was the only one that was crying in the bathroom. There was like groups of us. Like we would all just be like in the bathroom. Like how sad is that? America changed your school system like this should not be happening. I'm with you fellow kids. Those those darn schools are, are never worrying about you being sad. We never have programs like that ever. That gosh darn school system always making little girls sad. Yeah, it's not really the school system's fault for students being sad. There are a lot of complex factors that are within that realm. Simply changing the school system isn't going to make everyone happier. I know you want to be that little rebel fighting against authority and the system, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Draw a stop sign, making sure it has the correct number of sides. Eight S sides. Six plus two. <laughs> Listen, this is the show where we take three versions of two items and try to figure out which is the most expensive and Two. which is the cheapest. Get your blindfolds. No, we love blindfolding each other. Whoa, hold the phone there. Did you guys hear that? Those crazy ass crackers, am I right? Wait, I can touch now? Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Is this Chewbacca's penis? Weed! It's weed! It's weed! Oh my yeah! god! I smell it! Oh my god! Y'all have some divorce secrets and sausage. <laughs> We're not on your level yet, alright? This is MTV. They got no money. <laughs> <laughs> the fucks. <laughs> yeah, me. You really fucked. <laughs> me.